Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan and today we are reacting to a TikTok. I cannot even tell you how many times people sent this to me or tagged me in it. It's maybe my most tagged in, most received ever. Um, so I am happy to react to it as many of you wanted to see it. Nothing more to say. We're gonna watch, we're gonna reconvene. I'll tell you what I think, but let's get into it. What is your body count? 42. 36. In the 40s, but my body count when I was 14 was seven. Honestly, I lost count. Yeah, I just don't know all of them. How old are you? 18. 19. Whole phases are very much necessary. There's five dudes at my house, okay? All of them train. I slept with like a whole friend group. I got black. I this guy's 20 minutes after I his best friend. And it's been said that I've got some good What well, we gotta rate ourselves? A 10. 10? A 10. Men are the least needed members of society. I really hate it when men are like, if I'm paying all the bills, then you should at least be cooking and cleaning the house. Well, number one to being a boss bitch is being a f bitch. I used to date for personality, but now I'm dating for money. Stop dating broke boys. Here are a list of things I expect men to do in marriage. One, pay the rent mortgage, and two, to do most of the cooking. Seven figure men do go for me. A man doesn't need to take care of me. I'm gonna have my own f***ing kids. I have a baby, I'm keeping it this time. Five dudes. That's what's Yes. <laughs> Yo, there's no hope for us right now. Oh my. This video is a hot mess. Actually, no, I take that. Let's not use the word hot. I think it's very far from that. It's just a mess. Now I have to assume, if you're a guy who's watching this video, you're probably thinking, what these guys were thinking, we're doomed. Um, however, I'm gonna try to be positive here. I, I have to admit I feel a bit sad after watching this because it's evident to me that so many people are self-destructing, blatantly disrespecting themselves. In the past, I don't know if I would have been so blunt to say that, um, but I think it's really important that I'm honest about my stance on this, even though it might be a rather unpopular opinion. And you don't have to have the same opinion as me, of course, it's my opinion after all, right? Um, but I have to imagine, even me watching that, I'm like, whoa, that's concerning. So I imagine if you, you know, are chronically online and you see that, you think, well, we're doomed. There's no good women left in this world. Uh, forever alone. I mean, I don't even know what you think after watching that. You can let me know down in the comments. Um, but I do want to say, I don't know a single person who is like this or who would ever say, or who is doing these things, first of all, or acting this way. Of course, I've brought, you know, women on my channel who have maybe said some crazy things, but it wasn't even to this degree. Um, well, <laughs> what I'm basically trying to say is I think this video was a, a culmination of a lot of really bad apples. But for this reason, a bunch of bad apples looped together. I don't want you to think this is the norm or this is how Again, most normal people are acting or thinking or behaving. Videos like this go viral for a reason. They gain a lot of traction for a reason. That's because they're so outlandish, they're so crazy. So again, I know if you're like chronically online, you're on the internet a lot, you see this and you're constantly bombarded with things like this. You're constantly seeing these viral clips of girls saying crazy things and uh, that really just diminish your hope or your faith in humanity, right? I get it. But I just want you to understand that this is so, I mean, I've never in my life met anyone with a body count that high. So my reason for reacting to crazy videos like this is not to make you guys feel hopeless. It's not to perpetuate this bitterness or this hatefulness or this I hate women thing because I don't think that's helpful. You guys know I react to these videos to try to have some teachable moments here. There are always some points that we can learn from and talk about um, and elaborate on a little bit more to make it productive. I don't think it's productive if I sit here and I just hate on women or I hate on men um, as a lot of other channels do. I don't think that's helpful for anybody really to feed into this very negative, bitter, resentful, hateful type of mindset towards the opposite sex. I just don't find that to be helpful. And after all, you know, I'm sitting here as a woman um, so anyway, I just wanna make that clear. But the first thing I wanna talk about is that you should have standards. I know I've talked about this in past videos before, but I think this whole hookup culture thing, this very high body count phenomenon that we saw, that was just crazy. Um, it kind of sparks this idea that 
you don't, th that is not normal. And you do not have to settle or be with someone who is doing things that you don't agree with. As I have mentioned a thousand other times, you should wanna be with a person who shares similar values, morals, and life goals as you. If you watched this clip and thought, you know what, yeah, that doesn't accurately represent the woman that I wanna spend my life with, you're allowed to feel that way, and actually, I would encourage it. I know I sure as heck wouldn't wanna be with a guy who was saying these things or doing these things or behaving this way either, so justifiable. And the title of this video was Passport Bros Are Being Shamed For Leaving This Dating Pool. So referencing that here, you know, if meeting someone who shares values, life goals, morals is you, if that means, you know, meeting a person somewhere that is not the United States or the West, um, so be it. I actually did a Q&A where people were asking me specifically about men who go to other countries to meet women or who just meet their significant other somewhere else or this passport bros thing. Um, and I mentioned that of course there are bad apples who do things for the wrong reasons, but I certainly don't think that that's the majority. And if you have good intentions and just wanna meet someone that you're aligned with, there should be absolutely no pushback on that. I think a lot of people are not used, a lot of, okay, let me, let me back it up. I think a lot of women are not used to men expressing that they don't want to be with them. Um, I don't think women are as used to rejection or, you know, not meeting a man's credentials or, you know, standards the way that men have maybe become a little more used to that. So I've seen a lot of women online get really upset or say men who do that are very controlling and they are shallow and judgmental and just the scum of the earth. Um, but again, I think if you have good intentions, there should be no pushback on meeting someone somewhere else that is aligned with you. And elaborating a little bit more on that bad apple point, <laughs> I think that's what this video we're reacting to was as well, was just a lot of bad apples. Um, and I don't think that speaks for the majority. I don't think that accurately represents um, women, at least not the women that I know. Maybe you guys need to all move to Ohio. I don't know because I don't know a single person that acts like that. And I'm actually wondering where those street interviews were filmed. I wonder if it was like a Miami, LA, New York type of place. Um, because I feel like that way of thinking and behaving is a lot more common in those areas. I've seen some like podcasts where they bring women on and a lot of the women act like that. So then when you're a guy watching and consuming that content, and, you know, constantly seeing that, you think, oh, if I'm constantly seeing all these women like this, it must be the majority. I also want you guys to remember that a lot of the very normal women, um, they don't like to go on YouTube. They don't like to do street interviews. They don't like to be in these viral podcast video scenarios. And so you're not exposed to that. When, and when you're not exposed to it, you think it doesn't exist. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind when you're watching content or reacting to it that, you know, there are a lot of very normal people who just don't wanna be viral who don't wanna be on camera. Lately, I've actually brought a lot of really wonderful women onto my channel. If you haven't seen any of those videos I did with the latest group of women, they were just a great group in my opinion. I thought they were very down to earth and normal girls, um, which is honestly really hard for me to find girls who wanna come on that are normal. Normally it's girls who maybe wanna do it for, you know, the new followers, the clout, to go viral, to be famous, you know, whatever it is. I think a lot of people go on things, obviously, for attention, um, and that's not typically the normal people. So just keep that in mind. Now that we've got all of that out of the way, a main theme of this video that I reacted to was hookup culture and this very high body count thing. Um, so I wanna talk about why I think that hookup culture is the worst. And again, maybe you don't agree with me, but that's okay, this is my opinion. Um, you guys come to watch my reactions to get my opinion, so I'm gonna give it to you. I personally think that hookup culture is the worst and actually benefits women specifically in no way, shape, or form. And I think that women have been sold such a lie on empowerment and sexual liberation Nothing about sleeping with a hundred guys who don't care about you is empowering or liberating. It's sad. And you're essentially teaching men that they can have complete access to you without committing to you or caring about you in any way. And then you get upset when your situationship doesn't want to date you or marry you. Make it make sense. Why would they? They're getting everything they want from you without committing to you. That's not fostering a healthy relationship between men or women or marriage or relationships. It's just making things so much worse. And I'm not saying this to be judgmental or to be a prude, but I just genuinely do not think women have understood how horrible this is for your mental health and your physical well-being. 
But <laughs> I will say, I do think that there is a group of women who are finally waking up to the reality and the fact that hookup culture does not benefit women at all. I've seen this movement sort of happening on social media recently where more women are speaking up or sharing their experiences. So maybe we're moving in a positive direction here. I'm not totally sure. I think we're, we might be. But regardless, it's been wonderful to see women changing their minds about this and waking up to the reality and understanding finally that it doesn't benefit you in any way. It's not empowering. It's not liberating. It's not, it's not helping the way that men and women are viewing each other. It's certainly not helping the dating market that we're currently in. It's not helping the declining marriage rates. It's not helping the way that men and women view each other in general. So it's been refreshing to see women speak up about this. Um, and that's kind of why I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. I know I've said, you know, what I think in the past, but I just really wanted to, um, be a good role model. I think when all of your role models, the women that you look up to are, for the men watching, the men that you look up to are promoting, you know, sleeping around or cheating or being toxic or playing games, whatever it is, there's a lot of negative things that people are doing and recommend to others. If your role models are doing those things, it has an impact on you. And that's another reason why I tell you to be so picky about the people that you follow, the people you look up to, you know, the content that you choose to consume, because it is important and it does affect you whether you realize it or not. And I know it's a little bit dramatic to say, but there's a quote that says, you know, hang around five fit people and you'll be the six and then hang around five smokers and you'll be the sixth smoker. And while that isn't always true, a lot of people have self-discipline and, you know, really, you know, stand in what they believe in and aren't easily swayed by others. Most people aren't. And most people go along with whatever the people around them are doing or whatever social media is pushing as empowering and liberating. And most people base their life decisions off of what other people are doing. So for someone who doesn't have conviction or stand for what you believe in or, you know, kind of go to the toot of your own horn, it's easy to fall victim to all these negative things around you. And I think that's really what happened with this hookup culture thing. Of course, feminism played a role here. I don't even know what wave of feminism we're in now, but I think we're finally moving towards a direction. Maybe. My fingers are crossed. I've just seen a lot more online. So it's giving me some hope here where, you know, people are finally realizing, you know what? I don't think I wanna sleep with a bunch of people who don't care about me because that doesn't make me feel good. It also doesn't do me any favors. And I don't ultimately get what I want from that. I think a lot of people lie to themselves about not wanting a happy, fulfilling, long-term relationship, whether that be a relationship or marriage. I will speak from my own personal experience. That's the most fulfilling thing in my life. And I can't imagine not wanting that. And maybe that's just my own personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me. But I think people do themselves such a disservice by, you know, staying in these situationships or sleeping with all these people who don't care about them and just doing all this meaningless stuff that doesn't actually benefit you in any way. So I've kind of gone on and on here, but I really believe that women could completely put an end to hookup culture and we would see so many positive changes in the relationship dynamics between men and women if we did so. I think we would see marriage rates go up. I think there would be healthier relationships happening. I think we would respect each other more. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comments. Always love reading your feedback per usual, but I just personally think we would see so many positive changes if we put an end to this hookup culture crap. Be picky about who you're following. Be picky about the content that you're consuming. Again, know that when you see videos like this one I reacted to today, it's a clump of bad apples. That is a batch of bad apples and it should no way, shape or form represent the majority. Um, but if you feel like you are not having success finding a relationship here in the West or wherever you are that's working for you, sometimes you have to go out of where you live a little bit. And I think that's normal and that's fine. I actually know a lot of people who have met their significant others in other states, in other countries, uh, whatever it is. I think as long as you have good intentions and a good heart and you're doing things for the right reasons, who cares what people say? So guys, I think that's all I have. I've gone on and on. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. Let me know what you think about all this down below. What do you think of the video? What have your personal experiences been? What are your thoughts on hookup culture? I shared my opinion and would love to hear yours as well. So as always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.